Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus H2V. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price that I paid for this one, 400 bucks. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got black and green. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick for the display. You got a 6.74 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1240 by 2772. Now that's 451 for the PPI patrol. You got the Asahi glass on the front for protection, Gorilla Glass 5 on the back for protection, and an aluminum alloy frame. Now you got HDR 10 plus, up to 1100 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 with the Mali G710 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Mid-range specs, bro. Upper tier, mid-range specs. Now you got 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 13 with Color OS 13 skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 80 watt fast charge. Now OnePlus claims you can charge this phone from one to 100% in 32 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, 8 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens, and you can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, IR blaster, and thought protection. All right, so all of that for 400 bucks. Obviously, there's gonna be some things missing. First of all, there's no IP rating. Now, we can debate this in the comment section, whether it's still water resistant or not, but there's no official IP rating. There's no wireless charge, no expandable memory, and no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. All right, 400 bucks, let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. Okay, here we go. OnePlus Ace 2V. Now on a side note, I bought this one from GizTop. This is the Chinese version, but it works in the USA on GSM networks with no issues. Okay, classic red box. Okay, OnePlus presentation, I like that. Never settle. Let's see what you're getting for 400 bucks. Okay, now check this out. You do get a case. Now, I went with the green color, so you got a nice green case, usual books and shit, and of course, your OnePlus Troll stickers. Let me just say this real quick. This is where OnePlus shines, okay? Mid-range phones. This is a beast. Now, I've been using it for a couple of days already. This is an absolute beast for 400 bucks, okay? This is going to be your device. Let me peel this off real quick. Rah. Woo! Let me do the smell test. Mm! Savings. I This one smells like sweet savings. Let's see what else you get in the box. Okay. Let's, let's all say it together. Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention. The charger in the box. And of course, my favorite, red and white OnePlus cable. USB-A to USB Type-C. Now I'm going to leave everything nice and neat. Ooh, the big boy charger right here. Okay, one to 100%, 32 minutes. Now let's take a look at the actual device. Matching color case. Let's throw that on real quick. Of course, we gotta peel the stick off so y'all get the full effect. Right. Okay, now if you don't like that glass back, this case is gonna give it that nice silicone kind of feel to it. No fingerprints. Let's look around the actual device. There's your LED flash. Dual camera setup, actually triple camera setup, but the two big uh, camera modules. Check this out. You got the official OnePlus slider switch. Now, OnePlus, OnePlus is all over the place. Like, I don't understand them. With the OnePlus, the 10T, no slider switch. Now on the phone that costs even less, we got the official slider switch that I love. There's your power button. Nice and low where it belongs, Google. Okay, let's make sure we got any juice. All right, powering up. On this side, you got your volume rocker. On the bottom, SIM tray, USB Type-C charging slot, one of your speaker grills, other speaker grill on the top, 
And again, IR Blaster. This is what I mean by OnePlus is all over the place. How do you have no IR Blaster on the flagship version, but an IR Blaster on the mid-range? I don't know. I don't like that. I think OnePlus, they need to scrap the whole flagship line and focus on these mid-range phones and budget phones because this is a beast. All right, this is a beast. Now, online, there was a little bit of controversy as far as the frame. Okay, now all of the specs were in Chinese. Some people were saying that it's plastic. Some people were saying that it's aluminum. And some people were saying that it's aluminum alloy. So what I did was I forwarded the spec sheet to one of my boys, my man John Ho, shout out to John, who reads and speaks fluent Chinese. And he says, it's aluminum alloy. And just going by the way it feels, it doesn't feel like plastic, but it doesn't have that extra cold aluminum feel like the nothing phone but it still has that premium weight to it. All right, so it has that quality flagship weight that you're looking for. Glass on the back, the Asahi glass on the front. I'm probably saying that wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. Let's get and put the code in real quick. Let's get a little wipe down. And bang. Now, I just have a SIM ejection tool that popped out. This is a dope phone. This actually, I would say, is the second best phone that you're going to find for 400 bucks of 2023. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking about buying last year's phone for 400 bucks. which, on another side note, I bought this from Amazon last week so I could do my Nothing Earbuds video. I paid 400 bucks. Now, I would gladly take this phone over the OnePlus for 400 bucks any day of the week. But we're talking about 2023. So as far as 2023, I would say this is one of the top mid-range phones and when i say mid-range i mean 400 bucks and under besides this now this is kind of still under embargo so i'm going to review this one on tuesday the vivo v27 this has a flagship level camera for under 400 bucks but of course it's missing a lot of things and we'll talk about that in that video all right so let me pause the video delete my browsing history and then we'll walk through the os talk amongst yourselves all right y'all so we back in First, let's talk about the build quality and the weight of this phone. Now, if you look, the Nothing phone and the OnePlus Ace, pretty much the same size and width, but let's see the difference in the weight. Okay, so the Nothing phone, 195 grams. The OnePlus, 194 grams. So they pretty much have the same weight. Now, a lot of people have been making fun of my scale, but look, I got other jobs besides YouTube. Let me do what I do. Now, as far as the build quality, glass on the front, glass on the back, aluminum alloy. Definitely has a premium feel to it. Y'all know I got to say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures, but it is kind of a fingerprint magnet. Now, on one side, iconic OnePlus slider switch. Okay. On the other side, volume rocker. We already went through this already. Take a look at this always on display. This is one thing that I love about Color OS. Okay, you got the animated always on displays. And you get all your notifications. Now let's talk biometrics. Remember when I had the last Color OS phone, that was the OnePlus um, 11, the Chinese version? The biometrics was kind of suspect. But whatever they, whatever they was doing over there, I guess Xi Jinping got at their necks and told them to fix it. They fixed it. Look at the biometrics. Look at the face unlock. Okay, watch the face unlock. Now, I'm not looking at it. As soon as I look at it, bang. There's your face unlock. Now, if you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. And next, you have on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works absolutely flawless. Okay, so the biometrics and the way this phone runs, flagship level. No issues with, all, with it at all. Now, this is the Chinese version. Okay, so you're not going to have your Google homepage when you swipe over, but you got your steps, your package information. If you want to go to Google, just press the button. Okay, let's allow all notifications and keep it moving. So there's your Google, 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, let's breeze through the settings real quick. Now, I'm going to try to make this quick. This is Color OS, not Oxygen OS. Now, maybe when they come out with the Nord version for global, maybe it'll be Color OS. I mean, maybe it'll be our Oxygen OS. But if you get the Chinese version, it's going to be Color OS. So you got all your quick toggles, okay, screen sharing, NFC, okay, personal hotspot, screen record. Let's see, let's go to uh, connections and sharing, VPNs, all right, for your scumbag activities, private DNS, screencast, car connect for your Android Auto. 
Let's see, wallpapers in style. Now this is why I like color OS better than oxygen OS because it's more customizable. So if you go to always on display, you see you got my favorites. Okay, you got the penguin, the fish, and the bear. And you can also change the colors. Now you got a few different ones, and if you want to, you can add your own custom image, canvas, color patterns, or your emojis. Okay, you can change the fonts, change the themes, change all your wallpapers. Okay, a bunch of different wallpapers. Let's see, for live, got the classics, statics, and you can use your albums. Okay, let's see. Uh, now this does have some customization, so you can change your quick settings. You can change your fingerprint animation. Now look how many different animations we got. I like that one, the swirl. You got the ripple, the flare. Let's leave it on swirl. You got edge lighting, I right, for your phone calls. Turn that on red, why not? And you got video ringtones. Exit out of that. Let's go to home screen uh, locks, uh, home screen and lock screen. Okay, nothing to really see there. Everything's on deck. Passwords and security, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, you got smart lock, and you got thought protection. That's called system cloner. Now, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Okay, so you got your split screen multitasking. You got flexible windows. Okay, you got your kid space. Simple mode, driving mode. Okay, you got your Brino, wallet and payment, additional settings. Okay. Now, accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, everything is on deck. You got OTG connection. And that's pretty much it. Okay, let's see. Anything else we need to see here? Nope, that's it. I right, saw so all of the settings. Now, as far as the OS, Android 13. So you see all of my Android 13 widgets. We got the classic YouTube turntable. Okay. Nice scrolling speeds. No issues. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay. Let's click on Apple. Now I can use the Chrome browser, but I didn't set it up. But look how fast this is. Now this is the full website. All of the pictures, everything loaded up just that quick. Now if you want to, let's go to floating window. Okay, so we can have that. So say I want to open up Facebook. I can be on Facebook with my web page right here. And then at any moment, back to full screen. Now let's try a little split screen multitasking. Okay, so we got Apple on the top, Facebook on the bottom. Look at that. Both going at the same time. This is multitasking, Apple. Okay, that's what it looks like. All right, so now let's check the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official floor speaker sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound? Now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, hella. I gotta be honest with y'all. These speakers sound great. Watch, I'm gonna cover up the bottom. This old top. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier, for 400 bucks, these speakers sound pretty good. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful display. Let's get full screen. Basically bezel-less. 1100 nits brightness. Excellent viewing angles. Beautiful. Nice and vibrant. 
Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. I got Asphalt 9 queued up. And one more side note. Earlier I said the speakers sound pretty good. These speakers sound great for the price. Listen up. How loud this is. All right, here we go. Media Tech Dimensity 9000. No lag. Oh, oh hold up, I rap. <laughs> I was looking at shoes. I was looking at shoes. All right, let me get up out of it. Watch the landing. Woo! Okay, I'm out of here. Woo! You see the two wheels? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me turn this off. <laughs> I just noticed now, earlier I said the speaker sounded pretty good. Then I just noticed as I was setting up the game, it's so quiet down here, but these speakers are extremely loud. But anyway, gaming on your Ace, your Ace R2V, no issues at all. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now I did something that I don't usually do. I read some actual reviews about this phone and one of the gripes that people had is the night shots don't look that great. Now I did my own testing. I'm gonna show y'all, you be the judge for yourself. I'm gonna say for 400 bucks, the night shots don't look bad at all. Now they're not the best in the world, but they're not bad and they're not even enough for me to complain about. Check this out. Let's check out the uh, different shooting modes. You got night shots, wide angle, all the way up to 10 times zoom in night mode. You got video. Now you got wide angle, all the way up to 10 times zoom, and you can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. For photos, you got wide angle, all the way up to 20 times zoom. Now you got portrait mode, adjust your bokeh effect, and you got more. So you got pro mode, extra HD, panoramic shots, macro, movie, slow motion, time lapse, dual video front and back. You got sticker, AI ID photos, and text scanner. Like I said, I want you to be the judge. Take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Thank you.
All right, so now let's talk about one of my favorite features, the IR Blaster. Now, as you can see, I got a Sony controller set up, so now I can control my TV. Now, I always gotta repeat this, IR Blasters control more than TVs. Now, watch this. If you're gonna go to setup, check this out. You got TVs, DVD players, fans, air conditioners, projectors, all kind of devices. Basically, anything that you can use a universal remote, you can set up an IR Blaster. Now take a look at this stock IR Blaster footage because I'm not going to keep recording the same footage over and over. But here's a demo of how I use my IR Blaster. All right, so I'm sitting up in the office. I just finished working. Now I want to turn off all of my TVs using one phone. Okay, so let's start off with the Samsung TVs. Just like that. Another one. Just like that. Now we'll switch over to LG TV. Press the button, just like that. And now let's switch over to Sony TV. Press the button, just like that. The IR Blaster is so clutch for me. This is a major go. All right, so now let's talk about system clone, or as we call it on my channel, thought protection. Basically, you can have two different phones built into one. Here's how it works. Now I'm gonna open up the phone using my thumbprint. Let's go through my apps. So here's my Facebook, okay? Let's go to Instagram, that's my Instagram. Let's go to Twitter, okay? That's my Twitter. Let's see, let's go to TikTok, okay? This is my TikTok. And let's go to Gallery. Here's all of the photos that I took. Now I'm gonna close the phone. Now, instead of using my thumbprint, I'm gonna use a different finger. And watch what happens. Look at this. Now I got a separate phone. So let's go to Facebook. No Facebook logged in. Okay, let's go back. No Facebook. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram logged in. Let's go to TikTok. No TikTok logged in. Let's go to Twitter, no Twitter logged in, and let's go to gallery. One photo. Okay, now, this would be my scumbag photos. Exit out of this. Now, if I want to, I can leave my phone on the table just like this. If your kids pick it up, your girlfriend picks it up, your boyfriend picks it up, whoever picks up your phone, and they say, you know what? Let me go through his, uh, let's go to his uh, Instagram and see his messages. No Instagram logged in. Let's look at his photos. No photos on deck. Now, I'm gonna lock the phone. This time, I'm gonna open it with my thumbprint and watch what happens. Bang. Back to my original phone. So there's my Facebook again. There's my Instagram. There's my Twitter. All of my photos. And my TikTok. How dope is that? And look how fast the transition is. Bang, look at that. Fully thought protected. Now, why do I call it thought protection? <laughs> I always gotta say this. If you're out there living a scumbag life, this is all you gotta do. Now, you wanna look like a gentleman. Okay, I gotta get up and go to the bathroom real quick. You grab your phone. Like, I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom. Now, you know, if you're dealing with a thought, they're gonna pick up your phone and be like, you know what? Let me take it over to his gallery real quick. Now, I can delete this photo right here, just for fun. And now, if you picked up my phone, it looks like I have no photos in the gallery. I don't like I don't like taking pictures like that. Go to my Instagram. No Instagram logged in at all. Now, when I come back from the bathroom, look how fast. All I gotta do is pick up my phone. All right, bang. Back to all of my scumbag photos. System clone. This is epic. All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent 400 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now there's no wireless charge, so you're gonna have to use a cable. Let's check the wireless charge animation. Okay, it says fast charging, and you get that beautiful, colorful animation. Okay, now here's what I do. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you're gonna check your phone. You don't even gotta touch it. Always on display, you got the time, date, battery percentage, and your notifications if you set those up. Now when I lift up the phone, all I gotta do is look at it, bang. Excellent biometrics right to the home screen.
First, let's check the weather. Okay, 60 degrees, mostly cloudy. Beautiful spring day in New York City. Now, let's go to my Google feed. Okay, the Nothing uh, <laughs> nothing 2 earbuds. Those are pretty dope. Okay, top 10 songs from the Wu-Tang Clan. Okay, this is what I like to do in the morning. Just check all the latest news, the latest tech. Okay, Anchor got a new charger. Belkin with some new chargers also. Street Fighter 6 gameplay. Now, what is this? You can now test drive the OnePlus 11 for 100 days risk-free. Okay, okay, it is what it is. The Rock, okay, The Rock out here doing this thing, RoboCop. Okay, anyway, so here's how your Google feed is going to look. 120 hertz refresh rate, excellent scrolling speeds. We out of it. Next thing I like to do, let's do a little bit of work. Okay, so let's uh, open up some work emails. Okay. Let's see. All right, so we got the work emails. Let's kind of reply to this one. Okay, no thanks. Okay, hit send. Bong, so I'll be replying to all my work emails. Now, if I want to, I could do a little floating window. Okay, minimize that to the side and have my work stuff ready to go at any moment. Next, let's do a little social media savagery. Let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, let's go to the mentions. Okay, watching your Galaxy S23 Ultra review. I want it now. Who does it? Now, while I'm reading my tweets, okay, do you plan on doing the Soundcore Liberty 4 review? Look, let me let, let me hit pause on the video real quick. Everybody keeps asking me about those. Let me show y'all something real quick. Now I was cleaning up. I had I had these for the last I don't know how many months just sitting around. If y'all want to see a full review on these, hit me up in the comments and I'll do them. But they've been out for a minute. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Anyway, all right, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. And like I said, at any moment, I could just open this back up and do some work emails and go back to the, uh, Twitter. Let's see. Let's see what Phone Arena talking about. Okay, the Chinese Android manufacturers have teamed up to allow users to transfer third-party apps between Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi phones. All right, Xi Jinping out here making moves. I respect that. I respect that. Okay, so this is how your Twitter is going to look. Oh, look, 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 look at this, look, look at this, oh, look, look at this. You got Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin hanging out together. All they need is my man Duterte. <laughs> I'm actually in a group chat right now. It's me, Vladimir Putin, <laughs> Xi Jinping, Duterte, <laughs> and Mohammed bin Salman. We all in one group chat together. I hang around with a fucking a bunch of villains, yo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know, I'm, wait. all right, somebody got all the Galaxy Folds. Okay, cool. All right, so that's how your Twitter's going to look. Exit out of that. <laughs> Duterte. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, let's see. Let, let, let's take it over to, let, let's go to Facebook. Let's see who died. Okay, now Ice Spice. I heard she messing around with uh, my man Jordan Poole. Okay, my man Jordan out here doing Hello. his thing. Okay. Okay, my man Tony got the big boy, the big boy cigars. Okay, I respect that. I respect it. Okay, we got some limited edition uh, Nomad straps for your Apple Watch. Okay, I'm getting old, boy. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Okay, now check this out. I'm gonna do an updated video on these because now with the Ray Ban stories, you can record for up to one minute. That is a game changer. Remember, it was thirty seconds. One minute, one minute videos from your sunglasses is a game changer. It really is. All right, let's see anything else. So here's um, your Facebook. Okay, we got Alicia. Okay. Hey, my homegirl Nike. First set of, okay, first hairdo. Look at this. We got the G-Shock Tiffany edition. Bro, I am copying this, man. I think it's about 500 bucks. Let's see. Let's click on this. Oh, is it? Are they going to let me shop? Come on, bro. I want to shop. All right, I looked at this on Instagram. I, the hyperlink ain't working for some reason, but I know for a fact this is 500 bucks. I think I'm going to cop one of those, yep. Yeah. My man Pierre. The bald ass head. <laughs> that's my guy, though. That's my guy. Anyway, so this is um, this is how your Facebook is gonna look. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Now for TikTok, you're gonna have to silence the phone with that beautiful silent switch. I love that. Y'all ever seen this dude that be up in the gym? He be up in the gym acting like he can't lift weights, <laughs> and then just be lifting up mad heavy shit. Jim Jimvation. That's the name. Jimvation. All right, let's see, let's see if he's going to... Okay, look. Power lifted disguise as professional trainer proves hater wrong. Look, yeah, this is a... Power, this dude, he's not the biggest guy, but this guy is... He got the supreme strength. Watch this. Let, let, let's, watch how easy he picked this shit up, probably. Let's see. Now, this skit is taking a little bit long, you know. 
Okay, he's see, he's in his he's 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 up in the gym with um a sweater on, <laughs> with the sweater vest. Bro, are you gonna get to the weights or not? I'm I'm, I'm you see this is this is what with, with uh TikTok, I got short attention span. You. I right, Photoshop. All right, well he he didn't do it this time, but usually he does that. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. We got going on here. Okay. All right. So anyway, so this is uh this uh here's another one, here's another one. Power lift the disguise as cleaner. Yeah, so people be having the big weights on the floor. He'd be like, yo, I, I got to get through it. I got to clean that up real quick. And they'd just be lifting this shit up. <laughs> Look at her. He'd be lifting it up like mad, mad quick. Hold on, let's see. Uh, bro, a small weight. All right, let's look. Look, 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 and then they start repping out the big weights, and then watch other people's faces be like, God damn. <laughs> he's funny, though. He's funny. Anyway, as you can see, that's what this kind of shit I'll be watching on TikTok. Let's see now. Can you put this big piece of steak right there in a toaster? Hold up, what is this, life hacks, yo? We got new life hacks? <laughs> we got life hacks? Now, my fat ass gotta see how this comes out. Let's see. All right, chill, we turn the music off so we don't get the copyright strikes. All right, I know, I know, I know, I know y'all wanna see if this is real or not too. Let's watch it together. My, This could be the life hack that I've been looking for right now. <laughs> yo, bro, hold up, you put the whole meal in the toast? Come on, bro. This, this, this can't be life, yo. I've, I've been doing it wrong all these years. Let's find out. I know. I, we we got to see this now. We in, we in too deep. Sometimes I'll be wanting to swipe, but I'm already in too deep. Now I got to see what happens. Okay, so you got to tape it down so it don't automatically pop up. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see how long we're going to let this cook. Okay, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Let's see now. Like I said, I'm a, you know, I'll be ready to skip, but I'm in too deep now. I'm, I'm wasting too much time now. I got, I gotta, I gotta see the payoff. Why are we watching this? Who's seen Cocaine Beer? Same thing, Cocaine Beer. That's probably the dumbest movie I ever seen, but I already watched 40 minutes of it. I gotta watch the end. I gotta see how this should look when it pops out. Let's see now. I think these videos be kind of long, bro. Like, what's going on, you? Yeah? All right, if I forgot, you can skip. All right, let's see. All right, so that's how the bread looks. I forgot you could skip these long ass videos. Oh, looking kind of good up in there though. Looking kind of good up in there though. Now, I don't know what kind of damage that's gonna do with all that uh, fluid inside of the toaster, but let's go ahead and see though. Yeah, you see mad, mad um, fluid leaking out the bottom of the toaster? That can't be good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, well, it looks good, it looks good. All right, anyway, so here's how your TikTok is going to look. Okay, my well, man, I am flipping, flipping. Okay, so let's exit out of that. We'll do one more. Let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, let's see what's going down. Okay, we got B Loves Life all right, with the ASMR. All right, my man China Mac out here, you know, repping. Let's see, we got, uh, let's see, breaking news. Tax Stone found guilty of manslaughter charges. Possession of weapon, sentence on April 19th. Damn, R.I.P. Tax Stone, <laughs> Troy Ave. You know, one of the truth tellers, Troy Ave. I had truth telling. Okay, yeah, it is what it is, man. Okay, let's see. Now, now we got to talk about this. I'm surprised there ain't no 6 9 videos. Okay, now let me show. This is what I'm talking about. Now let's hit the link. Let's hit the link. I, now I want to see this Tiffany, the Tiffany G Shock. Let's see. Let's see the price on that bad boy. Okay, five hundred and thirty bucks. That's pretty dope. That's that that that, 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 that. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, let's go back to uh, Instagram. Let's see. Okay, built easy access to something in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, I thought I thought it was about to. I thought I was about to see a fatality just now. My man, knockout three sixty. Mopar boys in the building. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Internet, re, internet re, reaction to six nine being jumped. Now look, what, <laughs> yeah, I know Dave Chappelle. Hold up, what is he saying? First he put my nuts on the dresser. <laughs> it was crazy, just my nuts. <laughs> then he banged them <laughs> with the spike. All right, look. Now look, let's start a dialogue in the comment section. What do y'all think about six nine getting that getting that ass beat? Personally, I don't like to see people get jumped. I like to see a fear, you know, a fear fade one on one. You know, it is what it is. So I do kind of feel sorry for him on that end. But at the end of the day, you got to remember, you kind of get that energy that you put out in the world. You can't be on 
Instagram every day, trolling, telling people SMD, dissing other people, dead homies and all of that, and think that that's never going to catch up to you. At some point, it's going to catch up to you. What people, you know, what 6 9 and other people got to remember is everybody's not out here playing. Right? Some, you know, a lot of people out here playing, but everybody is not out here playing. Like this guy right here. Watch these karate moves. I seen this earlier. Like you see, it? some people out here actually. This is real life. People doing shit like this in the store. Yeah? So you can't be online trolling every day and expect that that karma not to catch up to you. I mean, it is what it's okay. This is a family show. But six nine. One thing that made me laugh though, I was read, you know I like to read the comments. Somebody said when that dude kicked six nine in the ribs, he all he could think about was a uh, Mortal Kombat X ray. And for now, whenever I see that video, I can't get that image out of my mind because I'm a Mortal Kombat player. It did look like an X ray. I was laughing so hard. Okay, we got the. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about the six nine saga. <laughs> If y'all think that ass busting was well deserved, or if y'all out here feeling sorry for him, my man Hakeem. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. Nas and Noriega, classic photo right there. My man looked like Freddy. <laughs> Freddy entering my dreams and seeing this stuff wasn't mentally equipped to deal. Freddy came out of the dream like, nah, bro, you good, yeah. All right, anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. A lot of tax stone, a lot of tax stone RIPs. All right, then no, no spice today on my Instagram. Okay, that's what I said. No, okay, this is a family show. Family right, show. All right, anyway. All right, so that's the Instagram. RDA, regular daily activities. No issues. And like I said earlier, I used this phone for a couple of days straight, and I actually put my main SIM card in there and used it as my daily driver. And this phone performed wonderfully. Let's kind of wrap this up. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna say the OnePlus Ace 2V is a major, major, major go. And for 400 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. No IP rating and no wireless charge, but other than that, okay, other than that, and the reason I'm gonna pick this one over the Vivo V27, the Vivo doesn't have dual speakers, doesn't have wireless charge, but it has a way better camera. But for me, it's not all about camera. I like to have dual speakers. I like to have more features. IR blaster, thought protection, okay? This one actually has a better processor than the V27. This is an all-around beast. For 400 bucks, OnePlus, this is what I like to see, okay? I wanna see some more, some more phones like this coming out of OnePlus in the near future. And if OnePlus, if you are, I had to wipe it down. If you are gonna try to make another move into the flagship, uh, into the flagship space, I seen the OnePlus concept phone with the lights on the back. That's pretty dope. But if you're gonna come out with a OnePlus 11 Pro, it needs to have wireless charge. It needs to have IR blaster. It needs to be able to compete with the other flagship phones because as of right now, the OnePlus 11, this is a hard sell. Okay, nobody ain't gonna spend eight, nine hundred bucks on this one when you can get a Galaxy or the Xiaomi phones for the same price and they got wireless charge and they got IR blasters and they got S pens and all, all this other stuff. Nobody ain't really buying the OnePlus flagships. I think OnePlus excels in budget and mid range phones and this is a beast right here. So, anyway, OnePlus H2V, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys are loud. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes, a picture of you your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.
situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.